Shepherd, many neighbors and community members are praying for this family right now, and those prayers come as many people are forced to clean up what's left of their homes on this Memorial Day. 2 News Oklahoma, Steph Manchin is in prior right now, and Steph, you spoke to one family who is feeling nothing but love from neighbors as they face unthinkable circumstances. Yeah, absolutely, Sharon. I'm here at the Jenkins family home in Pryor, and they've taken a pretty direct hit from that tornado. I'm going to step out of the way so you can take a look at some of that damage. We're going to look up their driveway and their fence just fully taken to the ground. But if you look closer at their home, you can see that most of their roof is still intact, but a big chunk of it is no longer there. Within about 10 minutes, sure enough, you, you could hear everything rattling. I mean, it, it got loud. Johnny Jenkins and his family got into their storm shelter mere minutes before an EF3 tornado touched down in prior. Two minutes after that, the calm was there. Other than just a little bit of rain, we went out and seen all the all the mess. Johnny, his wife, and stepson all stepped out of the shelter safely, which is what he says matters most. But that mess, as Johnny calls it, more than half of his roof ripped clean off. The bedroom is nothing but daylight shining in. I mean, it, it was like a somebody opened the water faucets upstairs and it was completely, I mean, water running everywhere. Walking through their home after, they noticed one of their doors that had been shut forced open by those powerful winds. Miraculously, most of the family's farm animals made it through the ordeal unscathed. But some backyard items like their pool and trampoline are nowhere to be found. The house is an overwhelming sight on its own. But then you add in the village of friends, neighbors, and community members helping the Jenkins sort through it all, letting them know that they're not alone. Jenkins, a school resource officer for an elementary school in Pryor, says it's shocking just how much of his community has rallied behind him. We've got the whole football team with coaches out here helping us with everything. Friends, family. I mean, it's been, it's been a huge blessing. Yeah. But again, you'd do the same for them. I would definitely do the same for them. And that's what I've seen in so many of these communities this spring, whether it be in Barnsdall or in Sulphur. Neighbors are just pouring out in troves trying to help people, bringing food, water, even offering to help clean up. And like you saw, there were tons of people out at the Jenkins home just trying to help them get through these unthinkable days ahead. Back to you, Sharon.